Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Indie Game Demo Night. Tonight we're playing Linkito. Or Linkitu. I don't know how it's said. One or the other, maybe, probably. But this is a logic puzzle game that I learned about only like a couple of days ago on the Indie Game subreddit, which I highly recommend checking out. Let's see a little bit about it. Connect blocks to control robots, decode messages, and defuse bombs. Solve intricate mechanism-based brain teasers. Rise through the ranks of the Albatross Company to uncover their secrets. Or build your own complex puzzles for the community. And that last little bit, yes, it is moddable. So I'm imagining that people are going to be able to design their own puzzles. Let's start the campaign since that's really our only option. <laughs> okay. Good little employees. It's Howard Stark. What is this? Slaughtery? Oh, it is a lottery. The guy's looking at his ticket. And he won! And now he gets to go into Albert Town. Oh, he... Oh, he got a job. So the whole lottery is to get... Well, I guess that's... I mean... It's not that different from the current job selection process. Although it's almost better to do it by a lottery of uh, qualified candidates because then there's no, there's no fear of discrimination. So maybe Albatross Technologies has it right. I'm not going to criticize until I understand. Okay. This is Mr. Morgan. What's your voice, Mr. Morgan? Um, I'm thinking... With this generation of technology, I kind of want to give it a little bit, a little bit of a, like a mid-Atlantic. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ah, there you are. You look a little lost. But believe me, the worst is over. It's perfectly normal to experience a little memory loss. You've been, you've just been through your assignment ceremony, the most important event in the life of every employee citizen. Employee citizen. Interesting. You're the winner of Albatross's te Albatross Tech's annual lottery. Our wonderful president, William Kane, has allowed you to join our ranks. Show yourself worthy of such a privilege. But forgive me, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Mr. Morgan, your supervisor. I'll be taking your assignment test today. That way we'll know which branch you'll be most effective in. We're in the Albatross Tech Assessment Center in the heart of Albatown, the last haven of peace on this planet. This is where we'll be conducting your evaluation. Would you like me to refresh your memory first? Oh, I hope this doesn't just repeat everything we just read. Well, let's see. Yes. I thought so. Your memory will gradually return, but I'll remind you of a few details to help you out a little. You're on the only continent that wasn't wiped off the map after the Great War of 1890. Yes, we're the descendants of the last survivors, and thanks to Albatross Tech, we've been able to rebuild and reclaim this ruined continent. You come from the Forgotten Lands, the lands Albatross Tech left to the poor ignoramuses who wouldn't join the ranks of employee citizens. Given the horrendous living conditions and the thousands of requests from these Forgotten Ones to join our ranks, William Kane, our beloved president, has created a great annual lottery. Every year, we allow a forgotten one to join our paradise. You made the right choice entering it. You have left poverty behind you now. Right. First of all, let's start with a quick tour of the company before moving on to the assignment tests. If you're up to it, you'll probably start out in this repair workshop. The more you progress, the more interesting assignments you'll be given. What is going on here? Huh. 
Are they gonna drop an acid? Oh. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's keep going. Right after designing your own systems worthy of the greatness that is Albatross Tech, you'll learn you'll learn how to create your own solutions and machines. What? There's a word missing there. You'll learn how to create your own solutions and machines for everyone's benefit. What does this do? Well, nothing. Really. No. Maybe it does, and I just don't know yet. Hmm. Some of our activities are a little more sensitive, as we sometimes get targeted by a group of anarchist terrorists. The Hummingbirds. They're against order and want to see our beautiful Albatown in total chaos. So you'll have to prove yourself before I talk to you about it. I hope at least that you'll be more loyal than your predecessor. Ooh. There's a predecessor. Huh. Well, we have one that said secret code. Yeah. But enough chit-chat, it's time for the assignment tests. Now it's up to you to impress me, and it won't be easy. I'm curious to see how a forgotten one does. Assignment ceremonies are held in private... What? Important moment in the life of every employee citizen, I bet. Yeah. Takes place on the 14th birthday of all those born in Albatown. We're on inc incorporation into the company for lottery winners. Huh. Okay. Your role at Albatross Tech will depend on how well you do in today's tests. If you do well, you may be able to join my department. But don't get your hopes up. I only take the best. Let me show you how our devices work. We'll start with the basics. I assume you know how to create a connection from an, in from an output in yellow. So yellow is our output. To an input in blue. Okay. Here you have to create a connection and press a button. I'm counting on you to get it right the first time. If it were up to me, we wouldn't give you such easy tests. I mean, I've worked with people for which this is not easy. It's hard to do work when you're sleeping all the time, after all. Of course, you can only plug in one connection per socket, so you'll have to disconnect some to create new ones. Click on the end of a connection to remove it. You'll see it's child's play. Either end? Ah, okay. So then... <laughs> We've added red connections to make sure nobody removes them. We don't want newcomers messing up the systems. Never remove a red wire. It says I can't. And it's not letting me. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Sometimes you have to duplicate the signal. It's like a power strip. But maybe you don't have one of those at home, forgotten one. Oh, he's insulting me. What a dick. Okay, so... Hmm? Okay. Well, there's nothing else I can create a connection from, but I have to get one here. So I guess I have to... Maybe the red one. 
I probably don't have to turn the machine off. It's just good practice to do that. Did that do it? Yeah, okay. This is a block that can either let the signal through or not. It's controlled by the input at the top. So it's a switch. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess there's only one place this can go. Ah, and that completes the circuit. Okay. With these blocks, you should begin to understand how the logic works. We have a power strip. Okay. So... Hmm. Wait a minute. So that's... There's nothing coming from this. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, okay. There are also generators that you can switch on and off as required. I'll leave you to experiment. So these are the generators, I'm guessing. There's the new looking things. You can turn it on or off. Thank you. Fill the gauge. I guess that's this. So what happens? Um, hmm. Oh. Oh, it stays on. Okay. Thought it needed like a constant active connection. Ah, level zero to three. Time four minutes thirty three seconds and seven hundred and thirty eight thousandths of a second. Very specific. Created connections eleven. Destroyed connections six. Number of interactions seventeen. When the Great War of eighteen ninety engulfed most of the world's peoples, only the company survived. <laughs> I kind of like that there's a little story going on. I'm, I'm curious how it's going to play out. Time to prove yourself. We're about to start the assignment test. Get ready. Okay. This can power it, or start a generator. What if I don't power this for right now? That leaves that constantly on. Oh, duh. Stupid. <laughs> you just press the fucking button. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not on my best today. You move up the ladder. Take your card. Oh, it's even got my little logo on it. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, one. Let's take our card. And we got a thousand employee points and a new location unlocked. And it's just called repair. And I, I like the uh, nice little detail of the propaganda, the company propaganda. Well done. You're actually doing pretty well for a forgotten one. I've got a vacancy in my engineering team as it happens. You're going to join my department. But don't rest on your laurels. You'll still have to prove yourself. As this is your first assignment, you start at the bottom of the ladder. But if you're efficient, I'll give you more interesting assignments. Here's your recognition card. It'll give you access to Albatross equipment. It manages your authorization levels using a point system. The higher you score, the more access you'll have to the various Albatross tech sites. Introducing Albatown. Prove yourself and you'll earn points that will increase your value to the company. This will give you access to other jobs spread across our various infrastructures. Okay. That's the tutorial. Oh, and this is just the demo section. Okay. So zero of 13. This is the little electronics workshop where our empire began. 
We kept it because it was here that William Kane created his first prototype. You'll be working here to begin with, repairing various devices used by our employee citizens. Okay, so can I pick these out of order? No. Okay. Good to know. Great potential. If you keep this up, you should climb the ladder quickly at Albatross. But don't get complacent just yet. Repair this toaster. Our employee citizens need to be able to eat well to be able to do their jobs efficiently. See that magnificent generator? It's central to Albatross technology. It generates power once you've once it's switched on. Okay, so let's switch it on. Boom. And then I guess the only other thing we can connect to is this. Oh, and then I have to just switch this on. Can we go over top? Oh, we can. Sounds like a bomb is going to go off. But instead a piece of toast came out. Whoa, whoa, what? I wanted to understand a little bit more about how that worked. <laughs> Optimal working conditions. That's what we offer at Albatown. And we make all the necessary equipment available. Okay. So... Let's have a look inside. Oh, so if it's in the on position, then it stays on, even when you disconnect a generator from it. Okay. So now, because this is on, ah, and then I should just be able to power it from here. I don't have to see it. It doesn't have to be open for it to work. Okay. Oh, output selector for selecting the output. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's start from the end here. So this is going to need... Ah, okay, so this is going to need a... some sort of interaction to switch it here. Which means same thing here. Oh, wait. Uh, we have a power strip right here. Okay, so not having a switch and having power going straight to it means this is always on. Okay. <laughs> He's going to ask me to wish list it. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta come up with a voice for you. Here's an important concept you're going to need here. It's the delay function. I don't know why I came up with that, but whatever. Yeah, so the only options I have are connecting this to this. Because the other way, this doesn't give me a chance. Because I, as soon as I let it go, and I can't control anything else. I can only control this button. Can't do anything here. Can't break this. Ugh. There's no way to make that any longer. Oh, shit. I am such an idiot. <sighs> I didn't realize that you had to charge it up. I didn't realize that you had to charge the delay up. So you have to click and hold it for however the duration is. And then once it's fully charged, that other side, be side becomes active. And you have however long the timer is to actually do what you need to do. So this one will hold for two seconds Two. there we go. And then we'll release after two seconds. This we hold for four seconds, two, three, four. 
and then we'll hold for four seconds. Fuck a duck. Sorry. Anytime I play one of these games, I always feel really, really horribly self-conscious because I imagine that there's somebody somewhere watching on this screen scre uh, screaming, no, you need to do this, you fucking idiot. Why are you stupid? <laughs> One of Albatross Tech's most important pieces of equipment seems to have been sabotaged and needs to be repaired. Will you take on this task? I mean, yeah. And that's the spirit. I knew I could count on you, comrade. <laughs> comrade? She's a communist! Okay. What? Hmm. Hmm? Okay, so we've got a generator. But we can't power it on directly. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. This needs to connect to here. And I need to, what? Charge this up. One, two, three, four. And then connect this to there. Ah, oh, shit. I think I got the right idea, just too slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that starts that generator. And then, what is that? Switch needs to go there. Oh, except this needs to connect to that so the power can go through. You'll use blocks and connections to create your prototypes. We're not giving you many blocks yet, but they'll come gradually. Your cabinet's on the left. Check it out, and try to make it all work with the block we gave you. I'm not very good at doing women's voices, sorry. So, a toggle button. A button that remains in the same state. That sounds handy. Click, click. It's weird that sort of like screen distortion that's happening. I'm like, I really feel like this is a bomb. Oh, I forgot. I've got stuff. <laughs> but the idea here is to have this output delivering constant power by switching between these two power supplies because these are just switching and every single time they do. Uh, which one is it? Is it? Yeah, this actually performs the switching. So if you have power to that, it'll switch between these two inputs and output to here. Yeah, okay. That was a terrible explanation, but I'm just struggling to understand this myself. So you're on this ride with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Poor little dude. Oh, okay. So that's how we change his direction. Okay. So this one we connect first just to turn the machine on. Or to generate one, I guess. And we have to give it instructions. What does this do? Oh, well, that's cool. A little metronome. And it's a little platform. So we just tell him to go right, more right. So we have to hold this one and then. 
Ah, okay. Okay, so some of this is just throwing us right in here. Well, looks like you've caught on. You should be able to manage on your own now. Okay, thanks, Susan. What does this do? So let's look under the hood here. What's in here? Oh, more stuff. A generator. And, oh, frack. Okay. A generator and a switch, but I can't keep it open because this is not an on-off switch. So I can't use that generator just yet. Oh. Ugh, god damn it. Oh, okay, I understand now. So now we gotta get Buddy over here, and then, and then, oh, shit. Okay, first, we gotta move, what's this, hang on a second, what the hell does this do? I don't, I don't know what that does, okay. Oh, it gets them to turn, uh, change direction. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. But don't do everything by hand. You're going to have to learn to automate things a bit. You see that big red button? You'll need it to start and stop the machine. Hmm. What happens if we push it? Okay. Mm-hmm. I can't make any changes while it's on. So now it's starting to feel more like Incredible Machine. Oh, okay. There we go, because it'll just keep doing that back and forth. Interesting. Gonna send your lemmings all the way home. Okay. I'm glad that one didn't take as long. You have seven seconds before the explosion. Black Kane, what on earth is that? Is that a bomb? Quickly, do something. I just joined your team. Don't you think you should do something? Please hurry. Time's running out and we're risking major property damage. Not to mention the employees. Okay, well, <laughs> since time is a factor, seven seconds and all. Let's have a look at this. We have inputs here, three inputs. So I'm guessing we have to give power to the three inputs. How am I starting this generator? Oh, there we go. So we got the generator started. So that will go into input B. This will go into input C. This will go into input A. I flick that one and then this should do it. Uh, what does this do? Oh. Okay. Then I only had the, uh, you have seven seconds before the explode. Oh, so when I flick that switch that powers the bomb, I have seven seconds before it blows up. Okay, now I get it. Probably would have been better if I'd figured that out before. 
Well done. I was right to believe in your abilities. You didn't sound like you were all that sure. The reset input has a higher priority. Um. Hmm. This will uncover a switch. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't expect to be done that one that, that quickly. They've put them all over the place. I'm counting on you for this one. Let's have a look first. Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, shit. Is it this one? Um. Set. Ah, okay. Okay, that's one. Wait a minute. I don't have to do that anything with anything else. I can just hold this down. I was overthinking that. Uh. Oh, we're done. Is that seven, six, two? Five, but it also shows three, one, two, four. Six is the first number, two, six, two, seven, five. Is that what that's trying to tell me? Wait, it was two, right? Two, seven, Five? Oh! We got... The Discord? <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save this for my own time. But this was a lot of fun. I didn't think I would get through the whole demo. Um, yeah, I like the, the little bits of a, of a story that it hints at. I'm wondering how, how much more it's gonna be explored in the game. I like the characters so far. I want to learn more about Albatown and what happened before and this great war of 1890. It's just just enough of a, a breadcrumb trail story-wise for me for me to want to know more. And I also like the aesthetic too. And it has that like, I want to say 30s. Um, I don't know aesthetics that well, but that kind of look to it. 20s, 30s, you know. Yeah, if you uh, if you like puzzles and if you find this challenging, definitely give it a try. I enjoyed my time with it. I can't believe it's already it's already been an hour and twenty minutes. I did not expect that. It's usually a sign to me that I like the game, but I like puzzle games like this. And if you do too, check out the demo. If you want to play the full thing, all you got to do is wait until July twenty third. But that's it for me for tonight. This has been Linkito or Linkitu or I don't know. I'm gonna learn how to properly say that name. You have yourself a good evening. I hope you've enjoyed this stream. And I hope you enjoy this game as much as uh, I seem to anyway. So long. Have yourself a good night.